what's good tribe it's the priest i'm back with another video in today's video i'm really excited to bring it to you because it's an exciting video today we're going to be looking at what wishes are coming true so i'm feeling like you guys have this desire to know what is next what is coming next what can i expect next and in this video what i'm going to be doing is channeling messages directly from the universe in your higher self pertaining to a wish that is coming true some of you have multiple wishes coming true Okay, so you could be drawn to more than one card here. So I'm feeling like some of you are going to be experiencing these wishes coming true within 12 days, I'm hearing. Some of you guys, within the next year, you're going to be experiencing these wishes coming true. So remember that time is an illusion, and it's really when you are ready to shift into this new version of who you are that these wishes are coming true. So some of you guys have a wish coming true. Some of you have multiple wishes coming true. So if you guys landed on this video, it's not by coincidence. I do believe that the universe has used me and is using me as a messenger to deliver a message to you guys out of encouragement, inspiration, and hope to let you know that there are actually wishes coming true. You may not see this in the spiritual realm or energetically, but some of you have miracles and wishes all around you and you may not see them. So what I'm gonna be doing today is channeling some of these wishes that are coming true. If you guys are here, don't forget to subscribe, become a part of the tribe. Also, last but not least, I will be dropping another video. I just dropped another video on the tarot chest. In the tarot chest, basically, these are rare videos. These are uncensored videos where I could just freely express and channel messages. And so some of these videos only have 200 available. Some have 300 available. So if you guys are looking for a more personal reading, you can find those rare readings on the tarotchest.com. I don't feel like it's a coincidence that you guys are here. Like, I really, truly believe that. So welcome to the tribe. If you guys are new, let's jump into today's reading wishes that are coming true very soon for you in the very very near future um, right now for you some of these are happening right now so we have four different cards that you can choose from choose the card that you feel most drawn to we have card number one card number two card number three and card number four card number one is the ten of cups card number two is the star card Card number three is the four of pentacles. Card number four is the knight of cups. So choose the card that you feel most drawn to, and I will meet you guys on the other side of your reading. See you. What's good, deck number one? If you guys were drawn to the ten of cups, I actually had to look up how to pronounce this word, and it's satiety. And what this means is fulfillment, and obviously it's the ten of cups so the ten of cups is emotional fulfillment and also just overall satisfaction so if you guys were drawn to this card this is all about wishes coming true centered around your emotional fulfillment all right so i'm picking up relationships partnerships okay doesn't matter uh what gender you are um, if you guys were drawn to this card you could just be an open fluid person all right, so just open to love. So you're you're getting ready to have a wish come true in love. It's an emotional fulfillment um, with someone that means a lot to you. Whoever this person is, there's a lot of relationships. All right, relationship wish come trues where people who are actually connected to you is the word, emotionally connected to you. So your overall energy, the 10 of cups is, the nine of cups is, contentment the ten of cups is fulfillment like you're overflowing so if you could imagine just an overflow in your cup okay so if, if someone were to just keep pouring and pouring and pouring there's an overflow of emotional fulfillment like crying tears of joy of how excited and happy you are so this feeling is just like you just want to squeeze your hands and just be like oh my gosh I'm so happy I'm so fulfilled I'm so emotionally fulfilled everything feels so good so you're getting ready to have a wish come true all right this could definitely be partnerships but I'm getting picking up heavy relationship vibes all right we have the high priestess Pisces energy we also have 13 so we have the death card so an ending, some endings could be happening. So if you guys are here and this sounds like, oh my gosh, yes, this is, this is feeling really good, then that's a confirmation from your higher self that's communicating, okay? So just think of this as a phone call and there is actually communication coming 
outside of you radiating even right now as I'm communicating this. So there's something about be aware of how you feel when I say certain things. And if you get excited or inspired or if it feels good, remember to feel good is to feel God. That means you're feeling the energy of God and unconditional love. You have two major arcana cards here. So I, I feel very confidently speaking to you in the sense of higher perspective. So this is not normal human being vocabulary. This is a very spiritual um, walk and path that is leading you to this emotional fulfillment. So if things are ending right now or if a phase or a situation is ending, you're going through a spiritual transformation. Time to move on. Guess what you're moving on from? All right, you're moving on and away from situations that were not fulfilling. They were just content. They were just okay. Your soul is desiring to expand, and that's why this wish is coming true. You, you might not even see this wish coming true because of everything that is happening that you feel like you may have to release, all right? And, and whatever it is that you're releasing wasn't fulfilling you anyways. So there's, there's your soul is crying for more fulfillment, more emotional satisfaction, more happiness, more joy, more satisfaction is coming in. So a lot of wishes are coming true in in the sense of how you feel, feelings that you really desire to experience since you were a child. So listen to your intuition, have patience, and consider carefully what you want before acting. So this is all about what you truly desire, and you cannot lie to yourself. If something does not make you feel good, it is loud, and you can feel it. And you've learned that. And so this whole spiritual walk that you're going through, even right now, is teaching you so much, but it's leading you right to this wish come true of Ten of Cups, okay? Ten of Cups is also a happy family life. We're going to get some confirmation on what this Ten of Cups is about, okay? Thank you. We have the Prince of Discs. So this is the Knight so this is a hard worker. So many of you could be hard working, could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, maybe spending a lot of time on the job, the day trader. So I'm sensing that you're getting ready to see a wish come true in your finances. It's taken some time. Let's get some more information on this. Thank you. Yeah. We have swiftness. It's in reverse. Why is this? It's taken some time for you to really find this emotional fulfillment because here's the thing, you can find a good job that pays you well. It's not about finding or having a job that pays you well. It's about having an exchange, a job, career that also brings you emotional fulfillment. So that excitement is driving you to want to be there, right? And not just the pay. So you're, you're actually moving towards a wish come true and a new career path for yourself. You're not exactly just there. It could be within the next eight months because we definitely have eight and nine here. All right, we have Leo energy on the board. Could be around Leo season. Um, doesn't matter. It's timeless, but I'm seeing it's taking some time. So spirit is trying to open up your heart to love and to emotional fulfillment so that you can attract that also in your practical life. So first you need to understand how this feels. So you could be igniting a person around you, a soulmate or a connection that brings you a lot of compassion. Doesn't have to be intimate. For those of you, I am picking up intimate here, but it doesn't have to be intimate. It could be friendship as well. Whatever this is, it's provoking you, opening up your heart and also your intuition. Um, it could be someone that you also met at, at, at on the job or at the job. Regardless, you are also manifesting a wish come true. So let's look, look at this Prince of Disc wish come true is what I was meaning to say. The Virgo energy is here, Hermit. All right, it's taking you some introspection to figure out what is it that truly brings you fulfillment because it's getting ready to come in. Let's look at your fruition card. Personal transformation, yeah. So those of you, you're going through a personal transformation, careers that are founded on your emotional satisfaction. Once again, your excitement to, to actually be there is what 
will make you the best employee you can be or the best entrepreneur you can be. So there's personal transformation that's actually going to benefit your practical life. So there's a wish come true in your career path that is coming. It is not coming very quickly. I'm not going to tell you. I mean, we got some stuff in the reverse. We got the slowest moving night in the deck. And we have strength card, but that's this personal transformation of you believing in yourself in this new path. Some of you are manifesting careers that are based off of your enjoyment and fun. You just having fun. And this is a very foreign way for you to make money or exchange money. So either way, this personal transformation is creating a wish come true in your financial stability and in your love life specifically. And so this personal transformation, 35, could be very important, 3-5. So there's definitely um, some eights here of just having to walk away from situations, letting go, releasing, letting things end that are no longer emotionally fulfilling you because your soul is desiring a like a meal. And this meal is, is an entree. It's like it's a fulfillment that cannot be found in a tangible way. And this is something that you may have been overlooking because you've been so focused on practical things or survival or making sure this is taken care of. So this wish come true is actually helping you. It's going to help transform you. Let's see how you are actually making this happen. My super attractor power comes from how I feel. There you go. Once again, how you feel is a compass. Does this career make you feel good? 100% all the time. All right, not just here and there. So I'm sensing here a, a wish come true. So let's get some more information on what's currently going on with deck one. Where are they? All right, we have the six of swords. All right, science. So what we're getting here is a piercing of the heart. So there's something that has happened that is having you shed your skin of who you used to be your old version of yourself, the old way you used to think, it does not serve you. So you're learning to let this go as well. So this wish come true is it, it's, it might not even, you might not even see this coming. You're in introspection and you're really focused on a personal transformation when this is happening. Anything else about this wish coming true? All right, we have defeat in reverse. So you're getting ready to find that the cards are in your favor. All right, the cards are in your favor. And the last card that I'm sensing here, yeah, four of wands, completion, unity. All right, your hard work is getting ready to pay off. Okay, it's happening fast. It's a completion. All right, some of you could be getting into a commitment because this is the marriage card. So there could be a commitment, wish come true that is happening for those of you who are here. Let's see what else. We have friendship, yeah, definitely. Your relationships is your wish come true. Meeting significant people, friendships, a partner, um, work, people who will co-create with you, these are the wishes that are coming true. This is why you have to let go of your old identity. It no longer serves you. It is no longer who you are. And the people you are tracking, attracting will not recognize your older version of yourself. That older version of you that you're shedding, the way you think that is keeping you out of your super attractive uh, attractor power. So your faith and love and joy that you put out, uh, wish come true is also the realization that you're here to live a life that brings you the most joy. You're getting ready to see why emotional fulfillment is so important to you. It drives you, makes you feel good. When you feel good, you make more money you have more opportunities, you attract better friendships, you attract uh, better relationships. We have fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So there is, it could be two significant people that I see that's coming in, into your life. Also for those of you, you could have a realization with someone around you that they are a part of your soul tribe. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing, something about playing, happiness. There's children, there's laughter, there's rainbows, there's unicorns. 
there's magic. Your intuition is leading you there. Have patience with yourself. You're not waiting for the universe. You're waiting for you to believe in this possibility. And even if you don't believe in this possibility, it is still going to manifest. That's how strong it is. Doesn't matter if you believe it or not. It's meant to happen for you. Playing keeps you young at heart. Do something silly, fun, but stay safe. So this personal transformation is learning how to live life like a child again, seeing the universe as a playground. And as you see, the planets are in their fingertips. All right, so you are coming up as the high priestess. You have an intuition and an insight into what feels good and supportive people community and relationships is something that you are manifesting very swiftly into your vibration this is coming in swiftly and then your how you feel about yourself is also equivalent to the worthiness you are attracting how when you feel worthy you will attract worthy things such as abundance gold things that are of worthiness um love rare things such as peace you must feel worthy of feeling relaxed without having to worry about things back at home getting taken care of. So there's some deep, playful energy here um, that I see coming in. And then I want to get your wish come true. So this is at a higher level of wishes coming true in deck one's life. Those who are drawn to the Ten of Cups, which is ultimate fulfillment, satisfaction, okay, could be traveling with the person. There, it's just so much love and excitement that you want to share it. That is what's coming in. All right. We have Dawn Watcher, Caretaker, Guardian, Support. So some of you could be dreaming about a loved one. Some of you could be dreaming about guides, ancestors, past ones. They're reminding you of your childlike energy once again. Anything to remind you of what you were when you were a child. There was a pureness about you of what you just did because you enjoyed it, not because it was a great business plan, not because it was going to be the greatest invention of all time, but just simply because you enjoyed doing it. So the biggest wish that I see coming true is I feel like you're going to start recognizing support. There's something about a transition or someone being very close to you that you love. Okay, this is for a very few of you. All right, you're being watched and cared for by a guardian. You're going to be feeling a lot of support in this next season of your life. You're going to feel very supported and you're going to feel the presence of the universe is what I'm hearing. So if you guys were drawn to deck number one, this is your wish coming true. It is relationships. It is your heart chakra. It is being aligned in your life, feeling good, feeling at ease, feeling love, feeling joy in this personal transformation that you're going through. You may not be able to see this coming true. It is right here and it feels very easy and it feels very flowing and it feels very fun and very adventurous and it's almost like you're a child again. So enjoy this and allow this to come into your life. So if this resonated with you and you are being open to this and receiving this, go ahead and like the video or comment down below to affirm. Or if you're looking for other videos, you can find those on thetarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm gonna be moving on to deck number two. If you guys were drawn to deck number two, this is a wish come true. That is happening for you very, very soon. We have the star card. You could be an Aquarius. You don't have to be. But right away, obviously, a star card is all about not just being a star, but also feeling hopeful about the future, feeling optimistic about what is to come and feeling certain about this. This is actually something to do with your magician abilities to be able to manifest what you truly desire, you must feel very hopeful and optimistic about it. So I feel like what you are manifesting is a wish come true that is going to bring you more optimism in your life, going to bring you certainty, clarification, 
that you are correct about the gift and the abilities that you do have. So I see reassurance coming in. I hear confirmation coming in for you. We have the four of earth and we have the page of fire. All right, so we have news of an exciting new endeavor. So you're getting ready to have a wish come true around something very exciting. It could be a project that I'm picking up on here. Um, with the page of fire, this is something that is very creative having to do with your energy. It is also putting you in a childlike perspective. The pages represent child, um, like energy, innocence, the ability to create very freely without worrying about um, how things are going to get taken care of. You're going to have more optimism and, and hope and confidence in some of these projects you're putting out. So that's some wishes that are getting ready to come true. It's feeling good about what you're putting out, feeling confident about whatever it is that you're sharing or doing. I also feel like your, a wish come true is a journey or an experience that's going to allow you more inspiration. It could be a discovery, a trip, a journey, an exploration that's going to be bringing you more excitement in your life. Good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate, being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Let's get some clarity on why four of earth is here. So you're getting ready to have more stability in your practical life, in your career, in your finances. You're getting ready to have more stability. And this is due to you shifting your perspective and having more optimism in even your finances to expect for there to be more and not to assume that there's not going to be enough. All right. So there's something about you freeing up the way that you spend your money. So I'm seeing a lot more financial freedom coming in. You spending your money without worrying, without checking your balances. Imagine that <laughs> just spending and you just know it's taken care of. That is actually a wish that's coming true, that frequency, that vibration of how that feels. This is going to allow you to create. Spirit wants you to be, you're very original, you're very genuine in who you are. Your authentic version of you is very important. So there's something about you seeing yourself for who you truly are, seeing the greatness within you. So having confidence is a big deal. I'm not just saying, oh, wish come true. Yep, you're going to be confident. I'm saying that when you look at yourself, you will feel good. And you will feel good knowing that you are who you truly are. You're being authentic to yourself. There's a self-awareness. There's a self-love coming back. Um, a freeing sense of being able to speak. Being able to talk about your perspectives. So there's a lot of energy that I'm picking up here of just you owning your star power, which means attention being on you. Let's just say that. People looking at you, people wanting to know what you think. Spirit is on your side when it comes to this financial relief because it's going to relieve you and allow you to create. Because some of you are waiting until you have I don't even know, so much in your savings before you're like, okay, then I'm going to do this. And spirit wants you to do this now because there's excitement behind some journey, some project or exploration that's in the near future for you. Okay, we have the two of wands. There, there's, there's this indecisiveness of where to go, what to do with this energy of excitement, um, where to place it. And so spirit is actually saying, where do you want to go? Your wish come true is, spirit is saying, what is your wish? This is interesting. What is your wish? Because you have things coming true, but what is your wish? Think about that and really hold the vibration of what would a wish come true feel like for you? What would that feel like? What would that look like? And whatever your imagination is giving you, they are actually showing you what you are desiring to experience here on earth. Very specific instructions for you, Deck 2. Prince of Cups, the filmmaker. Are you a star? Do you desire to be behind the camera, in front of the camera, inspiring people? Do you just, in, do you just desire to inspire, bring a message to people? Some of you are getting ready to have a really big wish come true when it comes to you being the star. 
So obviously, if you're drawn to this, you are the wish come true is what I'm hearing. You are the wish come true. Being right about you is the wish come true. If you were to just guess about your success and everything, just being right about you, your abundance, being right about uh, desiring financial freedom and true love and fulfillment and bliss and, and just being able to, to enjoy the exploration of this life, to just be able to explore, to just see things. Like there's so many desires that you have. So I see that this wish is coming true, Prince of Cups. Whatever this is, this is something that you are really, really, really in love with. It's bringing you back to once again a page. It's making you feel like a child again. It makes you feel like a child again. Doesn't matter how old you are, this dream still lives within you. Let's get some clues on, on wishes that are coming true for deck two. All right. We have judgment. Your life purpose is to be a star. Your life purpose is to shine bright. Shine bright is being you. Being authentic is shining your light. Having the courage to be brave and go after your dreams is shining your light. Having the courage to follow your inspiration is shining your light. Having the bravery to take a path that no one else did because they were afraid is shining your light. It's not just about being a star in front of the world. For those of you, that is here. For others of you, you are still connected to light, to some light here that you're inspiring others to live. So this wish come true for you actually makes many wishes around you come true. It's part of your purpose. So as you see, she looks this way, but if you look at her reflection, she looks entirely different. So there has been a self-discovery that is literally leading you and has led you all the way up into this point of wish coming true. Some of you are getting ready to be bigger than you've ever been. And that is well known. Okay, you guys could have been drawn to two cards because you have many wishes coming true. If you guys chose this deck, I encourage you to choose another card. And I already feel like I know which one you're gonna choose either way. I just feel that's because there's many wishes for you. So I'm not gonna spend time on those other wishes because they're in another deck that I know you're gonna choose. So judgment is your life purpose. Discovering what you want to do for the rest of your life is getting ready to happen. We have five of cups, disappointment, we have the nine of wands, fortitude. We have the eight of pentacles, prudence. A wish come true for you is financial support. I want to say that you're getting ready to experience a vibration where you are not worried about money and how to make it. There is a level of freedom that you're getting ready to experience in this wish come true. Spirit is going to show you how your spiritual and passionate endeavors will provide for you in a more fulfilling way. Not just emotionally, but practically. So there's a lot of emotional things that have been going on. I just wanna get some clarity. Why are all of these like um, transitional cards here? Why are they here? What are they manifesting? Okay, work. There's something about your work. It's attached to who you are. It's almost like what they're saying is you are the wish come true. When you become you, you'll know what to do <laughs> is what they're saying. You guys could be an artist, could be, a, you know, into words, sound, music, entertainment, music, um, movies, doesn't have to be. Um, and you will not have to work. It's very, very interesting the way that they're putting this because they're saying that your wish come true of being is to be you 
and being you is what is attracting your desires. There's a journey that will that is actually getting ready to unfold for you where you will see this path of exploration of traveling destinations is what I'm hearing going to certain places there's something that is getting ready to ignite you and get that fire lit up under you once again because you've been kind of in this energy of focusing on just failure not failing just succeeding and the thing is is that you'll never fail you'll never fail you could never fail because everything leads to your divine path it's just having a more pleasant journey <laughs> that's all so you will not have to work hard any longer once you look within yourself discover you you are the wealth like you being you is what is attracting stability giving to those less fortunate so you're going to be very stable to the point where you're able to give to less fortunate and it's going to come from this creative path all right and how are you going to manifest that when you truly surrender your desires to the universe a mighty force of faith can set in so all you have to do is have faith in the universe the universe is making this dream happen shout out to the telegram group the come home telegram group if you guys want to join that i just put a message in there the universe is making this happen the universe has already made this dream happen all you're here to do is live it that's what you're here to do your wish come true is to live you're meant to live your life like a movie you're the star that's why they're saying this you're the star of the movie of the film and which movie do you wish to experience and do you wish to experience a movie that all of the parts you're excited about and not just okay i'm going to do this to get here and then i'm going to be happy so releasing your desires and working with the universe because the universe is making this happen the universe is the director this is this is the universe this is you the star of the film and you're working together very huge the star card comes from what having faith in something much greater than yourself so it doesn't matter how much hard work you put into this. This is why even if you don't work hard, you can still be successful. There are stories all around the world of people magically becoming successful, fortunate. So there isn't just one path, but there is an aligned path for you. And aligned just means it feels good all the way through. So your life is getting ready to shift and you're getting ready to see it from a different perspective. New beginnings huge new beginnings this fairy godmother holds the joyous news of a new baby whoa some of you guys could be having a new baby wish come true all right or a new project or a birth of a cherished idea or an idea that's going to come to life that is also something i'm hearing as a wish come true you have many wishes coming true you're the star so the star is the you have infinite wishes wow spirit is deck two i don't know who you are but you have multiple wishes and the universe is your genie and now it's just about allowing it to come into your vibration but in order to do that there is a connection with you in the universe that is necessary because you're co-creating it's like you're the star of the movie but you haven't talked to the filmmaker you guys are creating this film together but in a higher higher perspective because the judgment is here so i know you have some spiritual awareness here from a higher higher perspective this film has already been written and you chose to come here to experience it that's deep you guys could be a light worker if you're here you could be a light worker or an earth angel so it says protect and nurture your ideas as you were a, would a baby so this is gonna this is a project that's very dear to you that is going to be very successful is what i'm hearing look in a book whatever your question is right now you'll find the answer in a book the words you will find will bring you the insight you seek i'm hearing to have fun with the universe communicate with the universe all right, something that's coming to me is Interstellar, one of my favorite movies. And in the movie, as he goes into space, he's actually going into different parallel realities. They don't really break this down in the movie, but the way he communicates with his daughter in another reality 
is through very random ways. And that's actually the closest way I can see the universe communicating. So sometimes it could be a book and you can say, you know what, what's next spirit? Th this is what the universe wants you to do. What's next? Like talk to the universe. And then you can grab a book and then, oh, what's next? Let's see, huh? let's see what this page says. All right, it's not by coincidence. You have to trust that it's not by coincidence that of all the cards, this is the one. <laughs> That's, you got to really understand this. Homeward traveler, uh, once again, could be a light worker. Completion, reunion, and return. So you're meant to see this, and this is the, the, the next message for you is to return. Return to what? Who you truly are, the star. You cannot pretend to not be great. <laughs> you cannot pretend to shine. Like, it's just who you are. It is just who you are. You cannot hide yourself that is like putting your hand over a flashlight so that's what's next is coming back to yourself judgment who are you truly and what else is coming be candid throat chakra speaking up okay some of you guys could be singers some of you could be speakers poets your voice is very important you will inspire many people through what you say but you are actually channeling messages from the universe all around you through people places things books you landed on this reading and then you landed on this deck and then you're still here so when will you trust and know it's just meant for you right and and you don't need it you don't have to believe it and that's what's crazy at the very beginning i said that you don't have to believe this because it's bound and destined to come true that's how much the universe is working in your favor all right, so avoid distractions as we hear in the background. It's crazy out there. Crazy. So if you guys were drawn to the second card, deck two, this is your reading. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, check out more readings, thetarotchest.com. If you guys are looking for rare readings that I post on there, you can find them there as well. So in the meantime, I'm really hoping that this brought you some type of encouragement and some type of insight uh, directly from your higher self that wanted you to really know this message. I'm going to be moving on to deck number three. If you guys were attracted to deck three or card number three, this is the four of pentacles, which represents the four of power in this deck. So this is all about feeling confident in what you have to offer in the world. So the wish come true is actually financial stability the wish come true is having more than enough in materials, in practical desires. You're getting ready to experience a increase of flourishment in your finances. Some of you may be shopping more than usual just to get into the vibration of abundance. There's going to be many unusual things that you do that are actually expanding your, your consciousness in your wealth consciousness is what I want to say. Your wealth consciousness, okay? You're meant to have more than enough out of all four decks. I feel like this is the one that is focused most on practical desires being met is what I'm hearing. So if you guys were drawn to deck in card three, this is your message. We have events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So yeah, I'm seeing that Many manifestations are actually getting ready to come in, all right? And that's because you're just allowing yourself to be open to more, which is why spending more is a part of the same vibration. Now, it doesn't do you any good to spend more and worry about it. You're getting ready to shift into the vibration of not worrying when you're spending, all right? So you could have been drawn to another card. I definitely feel the card that you were drawn to. I'm not going to say, but I do feel like you could have been drawn to another card or this could be your second choice. We have the nine of water. Your wish is coming true. That's crazy. So concerns fade away, a love of life. So your life and what it feels like to be financially free, what it feels like to not have to worry, to know and trust that all your needs are being met. You're getting ready to be above water is what I'm hearing financially. Well above water is what I'm hearing. So you're going to have a wish come true. It's some type of financial increase that is coming in for you, and it's happening at a very fast pace. It's a confirmation to let you know that the financial delays that you've been experiencing are over. So something's getting ready to come in, and I kind of want to see what that information is. 
four of pentacles also represents being too frivolous, too lackful, and holding on. It could also represent greed because you're holding on so much to what you have. And what's happening is your hands are closed because you're holding on so tightly to what you have that it's not really allowing room for more. This whole wish come true is more abundance, more than enough, an overflow, drowning in it. <laughs> like that's what it's meant to come into your life is what I'm hearing for you guys. So let's see what the current energy is for the people who are drawn to card number three. All right, their current energy and the wishes that are coming true. We have the sun card, Leo energy. All right, we have the knight of wands, the rock star. All right, let's get one more card. Guys could have definitely been drawn to deck card two. That that's basically what I was going to say earlier is to card two. So we have the kindergarten teacher, princess of discs. We have a lot of people that you are manifesting. So you could be manifesting a couple people who have like-minded, um, yeah, you're definitely drawn to another card. Could have been even one. So you're manifesting relationships is what I'm hearing, a specific relationship that is coming in for you. And it's going to make you very happy. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but there's a song that's playing and it's called I'm Different by 2 Chains. So I think music could be very important to a wish coming true. Rock star, you could be getting into a rock star energy. You're glowing, okay? A wish come true is that you're getting ready to have a glow up if you haven't already with the sun card here. There's a lot of joy and happiness around whatever it is that you love to do and what you enjoy doing. I feel like there's a lot of stability here with the kindergarten teacher. This is something that you enjoy doing, but it's also going to be bringing you practical success. Um, you're just not like everyone else. And I'm hearing that, I'm hearing that there's fertility. So the birthing of new ideas, you're getting ready to see the possibility of how things are going to work out. I also want to just get clarity here. One more page of water, a new person enters your life. Okay. Yeah, I definitely was feeling like there's new people coming in here as I just shuffled these cards out. A new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. So I definitely feel like you're having heightened awareness of just what, you're, what you are capable of achieving, what you're capable of achieving. All right, so you guys could have been living a very safe life, <laughs> you know, very content, you know, day-to-day -day things. And I just see with this rock star here, things are getting ready to shake up. Things are going to be different here. Um, exciting, exhilarating is the word that I'm getting. And so wishes are definitely getting ready to come true. You actually have the wish come true card. So I'm getting that you could have been overlooked by many is what I'm hearing. You're opening up yourself and you're actually going to be attracting someone who's just as artistic as you could be a water sign or you could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, don't have to be, but it, there is a connection here to music, to artistry, to creativity. All right. So you are, you're manifesting a wish that is, it's like your wish is coming true. Why is this card here? Give me the nine of water. Why is this here twice? Because this is about wishes coming true and you actually have the wish come true. There's something about relaxing and allowing your wishes to come true. Getting out of the way, not self-sabotaging, being on your side, being your own best friend. You're getting ready to see that you have more power than you thought you've had. You are connected to a source of power as well. So why is the four of pentacles here out of all cards? Queen of swords, the painter. All right. So once again, artistic endeavors, you could be a painter. You're definitely an artist. Whatever resonates with you is the type of artist that you are. And it's not by coincidence you're an artist because you're also painting your life. So stability, financial stability is so important because this is the wish coming true for you, financial stability. It allows you to be able to 
experience joy when you're not worried about day-to-day things or concerns about money. So concerns are actually getting ready to fade away and you're going to be experiencing a life of vibrance is what I'm hearing. You're going to be radiating. This energy is going to inspire you to want to be creative and inspire you to want to share this. But I see that you're ending a certain way of thinking in, in, in your capability, the way you think about yourself, what, what you think you're capable of doing. You're not doing this alone. I see that there's not much spiritual stuff um, here. And what I mean by that is just there's not a lot of standout spiritual path signs for you that I'm seeing. I see that you're mostly connected to spirit through could be music, energy, artistically. And then also you're connected to spirit when it comes to love and what you enjoy doing like what whenever you feel like you're in the zone and you're creating whatever it is that you're creating that's actually when you feel god the most and then also you're very intuitive because you're open to the artistic that sensitive side of you that is more intuitive so this is what's actually allowed you um a relationship with the universe and so the reason why i'm saying that there's not much spiritual stuff here is because you would understand that this is destined for you. You would have more certainty. You would have more trust in knowing that you do not have to do this on your own, including your practical manners, that what you actually truly desire is just to simply be free, to be free, to enjoy, to have fun. There's something about childlike energy here. Once again, how you're manifesting this. When I surrender my will and the care to the spirit of the universe. And that's what I'm saying. Not much spiritual stuff here. So when you know that you're, you're connected to the universe and you attune your energy with an ever present stream of well being, which just means when you align with feeling good, when you feel good and you really truly feel like you're being supported by the universe, you're going to understand that delays are going to move very quickly where there was a delay there will no longer be a delay things will come in very quickly because now you are opening yourself up to the universe and making this happen so you're you're going to have a lot more joy in your life a lot more happiness is the wish come true and you're actually just getting you are actually just getting wishes is what i'm getting for deck three so if you guys were drawn to this card you are just now getting the email that says, hey, the universe is granting wishes, send in your wish. Like you haven't really put your wishes in is, is what the holdup has been. And what does that mean, Tarot Priest? I haven't put my wishes in. Well, have you been vibrating at the, the frequency that you truly want to be at? What does that mean, Tarot Priest? That means are you doing what you love? Are you truly doing what you love? Are you truly doing what you enjoy? And when you're doing what you're truly enjoying, are you sharing this with others? Sharing by allowing them to give to you? There's a flow here, but somehow you're not sharing. Remember I said the, the thing is closed, so it's like you're holding on tight to certain things. It could be ideas, could be projects, could be money, just holding on tight. And so being open to help and assistance. So your wishes that are coming true is that you get to be the rock star that you're meant to be. Let's get clarity on that. What does this mean? Okay, it means that you're destined. The wheel of fortune. The emperor. You guys could be an Aries. You do not have to be, but that is here. We also have love. It's what you love. So you are manifesting a new person. A wish coming true, a new person could be a friendship, could be a love. Take it how it resonates. It is destined. This person's inspiring you to be your true authentic self, which is connected to actually who you used to be as a child. You're very artistic. You're very creative. You're very inspired by different things. You're, you're getting ready to honor that. Your wish is coming true because you're surrendering to the universe and allowing the universe to deliver in more ways than you can even think are possible because even you cannot imagine the possibilities. This is getting ready to happen really fast. That's why I'm, I'm hearing a lot of chaos. So just stay focused on what makes you happy 
and it could just simply be music. And you're being asked to follow that because it's a wish come true. Whatever a love for life is your wish come true, deck three. A love for life. What does that look like? A life that you're so in love with. Something about going after that, getting in your Aries confident masculine energy, going towards that. A love for life is your wish come true, where you literally are in love with your life. Do you know what that feels like? You can't sleep at night. You're just so excited to wake up the next day so you can't sleep. You're just, oh my gosh, I'm in love with my life. Like, wow, I really lucked out. This is my life? Like, wow, I can't believe that this is my life. Like, whoa, that is your wish come true. That's actually the energy and the actual reality that you're here to experience. Super serious about that. Abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blockages you may have in fairyland and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. So there's enough abundance. So money, money and practical things are coming to you. This is the four out of 10, which is less than lack. It is just like, it is not even half of wealth. And so you are letting that go. That's what this has all been about, this whole journey, letting go of that because it's not who you are. And abundance is your wish come true that's coming in. Very quickly, I'm hearing for you guys. Very, very quickly. Temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it is. So what this means is, overcoming things that make you feel bad. That's the temptation. So if it makes you feel bad after you do it, then therefore that is the temptation that I'm picking up on. So spirit is definitely bringing recognition to that. So let's just see what this is about. Princess of Cups. Okay, we have drinking here. All right, not trying to call anybody out. But spirit is basically just saying that you're going to just, you're meant to experience joy without anything or anyone. That's what this is about. So spirit just doesn't want you to rob yourself of true happiness. So that's what this temptation thing is about. So use your judgment when it comes to how you feel. I definitely feel like it's connected to your emotions why you do certain things. It's not really what you desire. Maybe it's just something you do in the moment. We have come together. Fairies like to be busy. And a group of them is working to show you that many hands make light work. Working as a team help gets the job done. So it won't just be you. All right. I'm hearing that you may have dreams that are as big as a stadium and you are one source of light and you're trying to light the whole stadium and spirit is saying that there's a team and there's a support system that's going to be coming into your life to support this wish come true decision so the biggest decision is will you do what's comfortable in the day-to-day -day life just because it's safe and you know what's going to happen next, like your favorite movie? Or are you going to be open to the rock star life, not knowing what's to come, but you're exhilarated, happy, and because of how happy you are and how joyful you are, at whatever it is you're doing, costume design, artwork, artistry is the word, artistic, fashion, all of this is here you will, it will pay off in a more abundance. You will have more abundance doing this than you will playing it safe because playing it safe is keeping you at the four of pentacles when you deserve the 10 of pentacles, which is abundance. So yes, you're stable and it's comfortable and it's safe, but it's not exhilarating and you're not in love with this life. So this is the wish that's coming true for you, deck three. This could definitely hit home. If you guys were drawn to this deck, Definitely affirm by liking the video or commenting down below. If you guys are looking for rare tarot videos, you can find that at thetarotchess.com. If you guys are looking for more insight about your enlightened journey, you can find that also there. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to the last card, deck number four.
If you guys were drawn to the card number four, Knight of Cups, then this is your reading for the wish that is getting ready to come true. So obviously the Knight of Cups is a romantic situation. We have the seducer here if you guys weren't able to read the words on the card. And this just means that you are actually possibly getting ready to fall in love. Let's just see what this is about. Yeah. <laughs> King of water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Okay, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Okay, so I definitely feel like a wish that's coming true for you is getting ready to meet the right people. All right, you have an energy that is getting ready to be recognized. Um, and some people could definitely take this the wrong way and find you to be very charming, uh, very alluring in this next season that you're getting ready to go into. All right, so you are actually getting ready to manifest someone if you have not already. So this is a wish come true if you just met someone or you're getting ready to meet someone. Let's get some more energy on this because I want to shuffle live just to see what this was about. All right, the Prince of Swords. This person could be very smart. Um, you guys could work together. You could have an idea together. You could meet them at an event is what I'm getting. You can meet them on social media is also what I'm getting. We have the Knight of Swords. One more for this night. All right, yeah, happiness. This is a wish come true. You have a wish come true card as well. So whoever this person is, it is a social situation. One more card because there's a lot going on here. All right, we have abundance and we also have strife. Let's get one more card for the last Deck four, you guys always have the most going on, I swear. All right, queen of discs. So it seems like you have a little bit of everything that you are getting ready to manifest. First, I'm seeing a person very heavily. Whoever this person is, they're very trustworthy. They're compassionate. They're sweet. Um, you guys are connected on an emotional level. You might not even feel physical attraction until after the emotional attraction is there. I also feel like you could be meeting another person um, around work or online that could be important to your social environment. I see that you're manifesting social support, community, events, going out, enjoying yourself, having a good time, having fun. A wish come true is meeting somebody we have the Ace of Cups here. Let's get some clarity on this Ace of Cups. One more card before I start talking about what I'm seeing here. All right. So it's like this person is, you may have not met them just yet. For some of you, you may have. Some of you may have not. Let's get one more card. Ten of Earth. Yeah. A very happy family life. Okay. So many of you may have not met this person, but if you have, they are definitely feeling like they're worthy of commitment. So I'm seeing that this is an emotional fulfilling connection. All right, so this is really gonna open up your heart. You guys could have definitely been attracted to the first card because it's along the same lines, except for you're actually manifesting abundance as well. And what's interesting is this is actually the three of cups. The three of pentacles is more of support and practical support with the three of cups here this is an emotional fulfillment so there's a celebration to come and there's more going out having fun meeting people a wish come true so we have all of these candles here so you have multiple wishes coming true is what i'm hearing and we have a wish come true card we also have the wealth card so a happy life and finding magic in the little things in life so you may find that there could be strife around you right now with the five of wands or even being, you know, anxious about what is going to happen. But I can assure you that based on these cards here, a wish come true is happiness. You have a wish come true. Um, Spirit is also asking you, what wish do you want to come true? Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. So what are you manifesting? Precious time and solitude so 
experience every moment fully and make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one, alone, and in total harmony with everyone. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. So I definitely feel like you could be preparing for this. This is feeling like a new life wish come true, uh, one that you have been romanticizing about for some time. A very important person that you are manifesting is a part of this, and you have an abundance of network and community around you. So um, you're manifesting a new relationship, Ace of Cups here. Whether it's here or not, this is the wish come true, and whoever this person is, you are connected on a very friendly way. It's a very familiar spirit that you will feel, and it is also very familiar when you will look in their eyes, you will know. So this is a very specific connection. Let's see who this hacker is. You're just around a lot of people is what I'm seeing. So yeah, you have a huge change coming up, huge perspective change. And we also have the dancer. So your life is getting ready to spice up. So your life is actually getting ready to really spice up here is what I'm getting. So a wish come true that is happening is an abundance of meeting people and having the right connections and the right resources. You're getting ready to have a newfound perspective on just the value that you have. So you're getting ready to see yourself and feel yourself in an energy that's very magnetic. So this magnetic energy is also allowing you to manifest, let's see, understanding. Understanding of who you are. So a wish come true that I see for you, specifically deck four, is a very youthful chapter that is very near. So this is a lot of dancing, a lot of having fun, a lot of going out. It's a lot of, again, teenage love, teenage life, um, high school again, living high school again. So there's something about clearing anxiety, not having um, a lot of worry or anxiousness about the future. So I do see that there's going to be a deep understanding that's coming in. This card to me, out of every card here, is really, really standing out. There's something about an understanding about who you are and what ignites you. So there's some financial security that is very, very near for you, a lot of abundance, but also an abundance in relationships and networking. So you are going to meet a lot of people very soon. And um, in this sense of meeting people, it's going to ignite something within you. I definitely see that you're getting out of a period of dealing with people who bring you a lot of strife or a lot of just um, animosity or rigidness. Like what you are actually manifesting right now is people who are more compassionate and connected. So it's flowing very easy and very naturally. The changes that you are making within yourself are actually going to be reflecting these people into your life. So there's a person specifically, but then I'm also getting a lot of happiness as far as gatherings, coming together, fellowship is the word that I'm really hearing for you. So um, even with the Ace of Cups, this is all about a new relationship. And I'm definitely feeling like there is a lot of chemistry with this person for those of you who are meeting someone. Once again, if you're already in a relationship, let's just get a couple cards. If they're already in a relationship, why is this Knight of Cups here? Because the seducer is here. It is the Knight of Cups. This is very romantic. Okay, so we have indulgence. Okay, I definitely feel like some of you guys could be walking away from a certain situation in your life and could be moving towards something more if that's the case there is someone here king of water so this is someone who is in their masculine energy as far as being able to reciprocate this love that you are also giving so the eight of cups is the breakup card so this is you know um indulging in things or just really learning how to deal 
with certain situations in your life. So this reading is really to just bring you clarity of a hope and a transition that is actually coming in your life. So if it's been feeling a little towering or if it's been feeling a little rigid, then that is because of the case. So those of you who are single, what is this nine of cups here? Why were they attracted to this wish come true? We have five of pentacles worry. All right, so we have worry here. So you are going to be, what you've been doing is transcending some of these beliefs around lack and worry is actually causing um, health concerns. So for those of you who are stressing and worrying, it is also related to being able to see it physically. So there's something about nourishment that you're getting ready to um, come into, restoration that you're getting ready to come into, and really just, letting things go so if you are single i see that you are taking care of yourself and there is a love for life that is coming in so you could be meeting um, a soulmate or a friendship and those of you who are in a relationship uh, with the eight of cups here you could be going towards another relationship let's just see what that's about eight of cups again deck four always my most complex deck i actually told myself in the last reading, I was like, I don't think I'm going to do four decks anymore because it's not necessary, but it just seems like for this reading, it was. So we have the death card here. So yeah, there is an ending. We have Scorpio energy. We have Pisces, Cancer, lots of water, lots of emotions happening right now in your life. Okay. So endings. And we also have something physically. So there's a physical transformation that is actually getting ready to happen into your, in your life as well. And it has not happened yet which is why you could have been drawn to this card rather than another card. And so there's something about youthfulness, embracing your youth and also opening your heart to this. And um, you, you're getting ready to also attract whoever this person is. They could be a mentor. They could be someone spiritually that really helps you on your path. All right. You're also coming up as a manifester. There's more for you to discover deck four. If you were drawn to this, there's a need for sol solitude and solitude and silence is when you're going to connect with your higher self the most. There is a desire, a deep desire for your soul to connect spiritually. There's not many major arcana cards here, which tells me that there's a higher level of understanding and spirituality as to why these events are happening in your life. So even with the tarot cards, we're able to see certain events. You're you have a lot of cup cards here, so there's a lot of emotions. And the biggest transformation that we have here is the death card, which is a major arcana card. That is the that is a spiritual card. So you're going through a transformation of who you thought you were. So a wish come true is you're becoming who you're always who you always were or meant to be. And that is someone very youthful in life, um, someone who's able to seduce life. You have this energy of magnetism, the dancer, lots of fire, lots of uh, passion around you that is going to attract the right people. But you really needed to have a better understanding and discernment to be able to see. Understand you'll never go through what you went through in the past. So there's a lot of reassurance coming to you, a lot of confirmation coming to you. And a wish come true is abundance a financial breakthrough is getting ready to happen let's see why that's here before we go we're going to get the overall perspective deck four the secret the unknown mysteries and wonder so yeah that's what this is all about going into the unknown spirit of spring freedom action and power so you're coming into your power and you're getting ready to see how powerful your energy really is and getting ready to see that your energy is actually a currency and it is worth more than you have been valuing it. So there's going to be some type of reflection and revelation that's coming in for you, deck number four. So if you guys were drawn to deck number four, this is your reading and what wish is coming true for you very, very soon here. So I see these wishes are coming true in the unknown. You're not gonna see them happening. They're coming out of the blue and unexpected. So if you guys are here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, meet me at thetarotchest.com. If you guys are looking for rare videos, there's only a few of those extensive videos. If not, I will see you on the channel again in the next big card reading.